Hello guys, thank you for joining me in this uh, video. Uh, my name is Khal Tsoyret, I'm a 3D generalist. I'm going to share with you my modest experience uh, about or in 3D modeling, texturing, um, uh, UV in, and some other tasks such as baking, uh, exporting, sculpting, uh, 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 the the basic uh, steps that you will need in order to have your model ready for production whether in game art or in filming um, so I have divided uh, this video into several parts in which I take in each part uh, a specific task or a part of a task according to the length of the video uh, and the first step, we'll be covering uh, the, the the use or the importance of uh, the reference. Uh, it's extremely important for the 3D artist to start uh, his workflow sorry, uh, with uh, a reference, with animation, texturing, or modeling. So today we'll be dealing with uh, one of the amazing reference apps it's a free app called uh, pure ref so we'll be covering this application from the original website uh, you can go ahead and follow up now we'll be gathering some uh, references some reference image from uh, google you can download them from any website you want i'm going to use google uh, and we'll be working on uh, just a simple model, a wood lug, a stylized wood lug, I like stylized art. So I'm going to Google and uh, type a stylized log or a stylized wood lug. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go to image and uh, let's gather some references. I like this one. I'm going to save as uh, in a folder. I'm using my project folders, but you can save your references anywhere you want. All right, just so create a folder and save the images out there. All right, let's gather more references. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like this one, so I'm going to save it. Yeah, so my Windows in, is in French, so don't worry about it. Now you can you can click on save as or you can download references from any website you want let's gather more references i advise you to gather more references uh for your project so that to expand your imagination i'm going also to download this one Uh huh. All right. Now let's go to uh, Pure Ref website. Let's type Pure Ref. Pure Ref downloads. So that will be oriented directly, directly to the to the download window. Uh huh. All right. So let's click on that link. All right, so you'll be noticing that uh, there are some prices here. Yeah, fifteen dollar. So you can click on custom amount to customize your, uh, or uh, yeah, your price. Maybe you don't want to contribute, and then click on download. 
So customize your price and go to download. So once you download the app and you install it, uh, it's easy to, to install. Uh, launch it. Or I'm going to launch my app, PureF. So you'll notice that my background is transparent. Maybe you will have your background uh, in black. Don't worry about it. Uh, so let's import our images. So whether you go from here from load image or you can use the hotkey control I or you can just drag the images that you download onto the app. Go into the folder and I will drag them. So easy to use. Okay, so I'm using here uh, the wheel, the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. practice now in order to pan you can just uh, press down the uh, the middle mouse button if you want to drag the whole window hold down the right mouse button Or if you want to uh, move a specific image, you can click or hold down the uh, left mouse button. You can scale up the size of the window. If you go here to the corner and drag it up or down. Well, we're not going to learn everything about pure depth. Though it's an easy app, easy to use, you will be uh, mastering it anyway through your workflows. Um, so if you need more uh, stuff to change, if you need more settings, you can click on the right mouse button and go to settings. If you want to change uh, other things mm, like uh, maybe opacity you need some transparency yes you can go to uh, colors uh, master opacity and you can decrease or increase your opacity down up Uh, here in the key bindings you'll find your hotkeys you can even customize them and I'm sure you're not been in this but you can do so if you want but our uh, session is not about how to learn pure ref that is how to use pure ref in your modeling and texturing workflow so uh, another important thing in pure ref is when you want your app always on top so it means that even if you are navigating outside the tool the pure ref uh, will be always on top uh, this is what I want and this is what you want because you don't need to uh, minimize the app while you are working you need it always on top so if you want to or uh, here is what you do whether you click on control shift a if you need it down you can click on control shift uh, B so here the app is 
minimized but you need it on top this is what you need while you are working uh, you may go through other tools if you want but will not be needing this uh, because what what we need is just how to navigate how to uh, pan to zoom to move images up and down this is what you need well, this is what you do in most of time while you are working uh, you'll be also uh, needing to lay out your images by clicking on control shift p in order to uh, organize them so maya is not like uh, any project uh, where you just need to save just to click on save the project and the project will be saved uh, I'm not saying it like it's a bad thing. It's just one of my one of my references. So, uh, in order to set up a project inside Maya, you need to go to File and click on Project Window. Name the project. So this will be your name. Uh, a wood log. And I will be creating a folder named. Uh, a wood log mm -hmm. wood log and I click on select so I'm not going to do this uh, this uh, step because I've already did but what you need to do is the same go to file project window name the file or name the project create a file and click on accept so once accepted go to file again and click on set project so you need to set the project inside that folder that you have just created good luck just need to click on the folder and click on set and the project is already created let's repeat again to set up a project we name the project we create a folder and then we go to file click on set project and we choose or we select the new folder that we have just created we just click on that folder and click on set and that's it so uh, this is not difficult at all it's just a matter of time and you'll be using this uh, quickly once our project is created we're good to go uh, so uh, thank you for watching uh, I hope I will meet you in the next video where we start our modeling process. Goodbye.